The rainforest on Madagascar's east coast features one of the greatest biodiversity on the planet. When I got into this maze of lianas, trees and plants, I felt like this primary forest was everlasting. Well, no. And here's why. The main food of everybody in Madagascar is rice. And to have rice, you need rice paddies. So, it's one little terrace at a time that the island's primary forests disappear. The modest Malagasy farmers are only doing their jobs. But there are solutions. Since it was created in 1952, the Marojajis National Park gives employment to dozens of Malagasis and protects 136,000 acres of primary forests and ex-primary forests. There were complete zones where all the vegetation had been burned to make space for rice paddies and pasture land. But bamboos grow so fast that after only half a century of protection, a forest called secondary starts to take over the destroyed territory. We're still far from the real primary rainforest and its crazy biodiversity, but still, in the bamboo forest, there's not only bamboos. The bamboo lemurs are small primates, about 40 centimeters in length without their long tail. From really, really, really far, lemurs like that are the ancestors of all monkeys and I'm including humans in there. The bamboo lemurs live in little groups of four or five individuals. To not get lost and to watch for predators, they communicate with each other with a quite complex system of little screams. It really is the best way to find them in the forest. What makes them perfect to colonize the newly protected zones and the secondary forests that grow in them is their capacity to eat bamboo. Normally, little monkeys spending 70% of their days stuffing their face with bamboo should poison themselves. Well, not the bamboo lemurs. It's a remarkable adaptation feat and we don't even understand it yet. Their bigger cousins, like the white-headed lemurs, they can't eat bamboo. Before they can also come back to the ex rice paddies we just gave back to the forest, we will have to wait for the complete return of the full plant biodiversity. This will take a few centuries. Or a few millennia. We don't really know. But at least during that time, the bamboo forest and the return of the first lemurs can give us hope.